Scholastic Art and Writing Awards is a very prestigious art competition that is open to everyone in the nation in grades 7 through 12. Receiving an award through this program is a great accomplishment that benefits your resumes, college applications, as well as scholarship applications within and without the program itself. Selected works are also published. The judges look for three things, originality, technical skill, and emergence of personal vision or voice. That means that they want work that not only uses excellent technique and execution, but that is creative, expressing something new or important in a new or unique way. Take a look at some of the prior winners in the digital art category. They are all very different. Some may express an emotion, like this piece, with a woman who not only has an expression of extreme emotion, but has an overlay of stormy waters and flustered birds as they take off in flight. Some might make a personal or political statement, like this piece titled Me Too, including the names of accused offenders creating a fabric of accepted norms in society that are woven into this boy. Some may be cute or express a personal style of the artist. Or even perhaps it is a bit disturbing, like how this image is turned on its side, filtered to black and white, and darkened so that the viewer only sees a dark mass for the eyes. It is titled The Crying Monster. Perhaps the artist is trying to tell a story of such an extreme pain that has molded and hardened this girl into a monster. There are many different categories for this contest, including digital art, film and animation, photography, and video game design all of which you will be allowed to choose from for this class. I have included a link below that will take you to a gallery of prior winners that you can look through on your own in a minute. But first I want you to go to the gallery and click Select Works and Filter by Digital Art and Film and Animation. Here you will find a video by Olivia Trainer called The Goldfish. I want you to pause this video you're watching and go watch The Goldfish. After you've watched it, resume playing this video. I wanted you to watch this video for a couple of reasons. Firstly, I think it is a great example of a submission that has a lot of personal meaning embedded, making it relatable. For me, this video evoked a strong uh, reaction. Whenever you can make your viewers feel or think deeply about something, you typically have a successful artwork. The use of muted sounds, as if we, the, the viewer, are inside the fish tank, makes the tone much more important than the actual words of the parents. Also, the framing of the kid's face with the tank in multiple shots as well as the distortion of the features because of the water all impact how we, as the viewer, understand the kid to be feeling. The perspectives and compositions of each clip are also very technically strong. If you are considering doing a video submission, I have included a step-by-step -step review of the video to help give you some ideas. If not, then you are ready to get started. In the H drive under the ACT2 folder, you will find a Word document titled Scholastic Art. This is a document I made with some frequently asked questions that I thought were most pertinent to us, as well as the judging criteria. It also includes links to the Scholastic website and gallery. I want you to do two to three drafts, two to three drafts of different ideas before you commit to one. You can either do this on paper or a rough Photoshop file. Then you will need to discuss it with me. The reason for this is that sometimes we love our first idea, but then when we stretch ourselves and challenge ourselves to come up with multiple drafts, we realize there was something much better. Whenever you're working, please be very aware of copyright laws and fair use. Take your own photos whenever it's possible. And good luck to you guys. Have fun. In videography, they also use the rule of thirds, which you've already learned about. So keep that in mind whenever you are filming. Uh, where's your subject matter? Is it on one of the points or on one of the lines? Um, in this particular case here, they bring us back to the very center, which isn't following the rule of thirds, but they do it intentionally. The main subject matter is the boy's face, and it gets blurred out because of the water. And then we skip back to a rule of thirds composition. Uh, and it goes back and forth between these two, kind of juxtapositioning them. Um, Again, here we have the bowl right in the middle, but the actual thing we want to notice is the parent walking back and forth in the background. 
which provides a sort of tension for us. I mentioned this before, but what they do with the sound is very interesting and intentional as well, where it makes all of the parents' voices and what they're saying um, kind of muted out. It's a little bit fuzzy for us, which makes us feel like we are the fish. We're entrapped in this glass bowl. Um, and we don't really hear exactly what words are, but the words aren't that important. What's important is the tone of it and the stress that we feel alongside the kid and the sadness. This composition, if you'll notice as well, um, uses lines to point to the main subject matter. So a second ago, it was pointing to the kid in the window, all the lines of the walls. And now once again, the uh, lines of the wall, lines of the window pointing to the subject matter. Back to rule of thirds here, rule of thirds, Another excellent technique that they use a lot in this video is going uh, or pulling things in and out of focus. Sometimes the fish is really highly in focus, sometimes it's blurred out. Um, the faces, especially of the adults, are always blurred out. Um, even the shot here of them going down the stairs is from a unique angle. So the focus is just purely on their backs and then towards the very end we lose all focus and it completely blurs out. So again, talking about those angles, you want to use different, different perspectives than the usual. So like the coming down the stairs example, we could have been straight at the bottom of the stairs looking up, seeing them come down, but that wouldn't have, have been nearly as interesting. And then again here in the last shot we see a return to um, this view of the kid through the bowl. And then as his world crashes and he, he crashes the, the world of the viewer and the, the world of the fish, and has a beautiful visual of what he is feeling inside.